A New Friend for Diesel, written by Duck Show Studios. It was a wonderful day on Sodor. Nia was curious. Hey, Diesel, where are my trucks? Oh, they're over there, said Diesel. But, but you better mind them. I, I heard them talking about you very negatively. As Diesel oiled away. Diesel is so honest, said Nia. Thomas chuckled. Diesel didn't used to be honest when he first arrived. Really? Really? He was quite the liar. When Diesel first arrived, his first job was to pull a heavy goods train. He stopped at a signal. Henry was there. Diesel had already told lies about my friend Duck. Hello, I'm Diesel. I'm Henry. I'm going to Cannonball Curve. Oh, you should be careful at Cannonball Curve. You might derail. Just go slow, like you're going right now. This made Diesel, this made Diesel cross. Diesel did go to Cannonball Curve. He did go slow, but he still was not happy with Henry. After he delivered his cars, he came to see me and Percy and Nadford. Diesel looked very cross. Hello, who are you? I'm Diesel, who are you? I'm Thomas, and I'm Percy. Well, well, that's Henry. He told, he said he, he, he likes when engines derail at Cannonball Curve. What? That's not very nice. No, you're right, Percy. That's not nice at all. Later, we saw Henry. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Percy, said Henry. We both glared at Henry. What, what's wrong? Henry, why do you like when engines derail at Cannonball Curve? What? Diesel said you like it when engines derail at Cannonball Curve. I never said that. I told Diesel to be careful at Cannonball Curve and go slow. Me and Percy knew Diesel was lying because we already heard that he told lies about Duck. Later we saw later we saw Diesel again. Hello, friends, said Diesel. Thomas, me and Percy glared at Diesel. Me and Percy glared at Diesel. What's wrong? You lied about Henry. He never said that he likes when edges derail at Cannonball Curve. You're just a big liar. What? What? Uh, growled Diesel. Later, Diesel was shunting at Natford Yard. Right, later, Diesel was shunting at Natford Yard. He was very grumpy. Then he saw me coming in at high speed. Help, help, I said. The trucks are pushing me. On, 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 said the trucks. I zoomed along the rails at high speeds. The trucks wanted to push me off the rails. Push him off! Push him off! They said. Oh no, said Diesel. He's heading for Cannonball Curve. Oh no, he's heading for Cannonball Curve. Diesel knew what he must do. He raced after me. Thomas! Thomas! I am here to help you. I will put... I will, I will race in front of you. I will race in front of you and get you and stop and help you stop those silly trucks. Help me, Diesel. Help me. I will, Thomas. Don't worry. So Diesel quickly got in front of me. Then he put on his brakes. Brake, Thomas. Brake. You're heading for Cannonball Curve. You will derail. That's what we want. That's what we want. Said those silly trucks. Break, Thomas! Break! Said Diesel. Said Diesel. Oh no, Diesel! We're heading down a hill! We'll be at Cannonball Curve any minute! No, we won't! Not if I stop you! Said Diesel. And soon, we, we stop to a stop. 
Thank you, Diesel. You saved me, I said. You're, you're being nice to me. Of course I am, Diesel. Why did you lie about Henry? All I ever wanted, I, oh. All I ever wanted was a friend. And I thought that Henry was insulting me. He called me slow. He said, go slow around Cannonball Curve like you are right now. Henry wasn't insulting you, I said. He was just giving you friendly advice. I think you should apologize to Henry. You're right, I will, said Diesel. Later Diesel saw Hen- Later Diesel saw Hen- Later Diesel saw Henry again. Hello Henry. Hi Diesel. I'm sorry I lied about you. I thought you were insulting me, but really you were just giving me friendly advice. I hope we can still be friends. Of course we can, and I'm sorry I upset you. And with that, the two friends smiled. And that is how the story about Diesel stopped being a liar, and uh, well, stopped being a liar, liar, and made a new friend in Henry. That's amazing, Thomas. I'm glad you told me that story. It shows even Diesel isn't perfect. None of us are. Did I ever tell you about the time I blew my whistle at Gordon really loudly? And then, and then he, and woke him up from his nap? No. Well, it all started when...